Okay, so I think we're about to start. Hello, everyone. It's my great, great pleasure to welcome you to this webinar. Uh, today, we'll take a look at our new SG110CX. And on the way to this topic, we'll also take a view about um, what Sangro is really all about. And in case you have any questions, feel free to just ask in the chat. Um, I have the chat open, so anything you, you write, I can read. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Matthias Hartmann. I joined Sangro over three years ago. When I joined, I was first responsible as a product manager for project business, but for more than half a year, my focus shifted a little bit towards distribution business. But still, I'm very deeply connected regarding any technical issues, so in case you have any further questions after this webinar, please feel free to send me an email. So this is today's agenda. We'll start with uh, the Sangro story. Where is Sangro coming from? What's our background? And also provide you a few arguments um, why to choose Sangro and not any other brand. Um, next, um, regarding our solutions today, we'll only focus on one inverter, on the SG110CX. And uh, on the last part, we'll have a quick look at a few reference projects that I selected specifically for today. So let's start with the Sangro story. I think not everybody knows where Sangro originated. Um, basically, over 22 years ago, uh, Sangro was founded at the university in Hefei. Um, on the left-hand side, holding the PCB, you can see our founder, Professor Sao, um, during his uh, uh, time during the foundation. Um, his students often complained and said that electricity is not stable in China and the TV is always um, uh, turning off, the lights are turning off, and Professor Sao wanted to change that for his students. So he had a simple idea to provide energy to the people and uh, his mind was set not only to provide energy, but also to provide sustainable energy. And the journey, uh, I think everybody knows where we are now, um, provided quite a good good way. Uh, today we have over 82 gigawatt installs. We shipped nearly 70 gigawatt only last year. We have a global market share of over 15%, and have a huge revenue where the inverter vehicle is the largest R&D team and we have the highest efficiency on the market, uh, not only since 2019, but also for a few years already. Sangro started as a Chinese company, but uh, we transitioned to a truly international company. A truly international company means that uh, we have uh, employees all over the world. We have plenty of uh, subsidiaries, like for example, um, in EMEA region, we have a subsidiary in, in Germany, in France, in UK, in Spain, Italy, Turkey, and so on. So we, we have a local people speaking the local language in many, many countries. So all the core markets uh, we already, I think, we already conquered pretty much. Uh, what do we do? Uh, Sangro is innovation led and only focus on clean tech. I think this is a huge difference because many other companies uh, who are investing in uh, renewable energies, they also do other businesses as well, and we have our mindset only on renewable energies. And here you can see um, our, our business divisions. So today um, it's PV inverter that we're talking about, but we also have a huge floating business. We have lots of energy storage systems. In Asia, we are also an EPC very successful. Uh, we provide power converters for EV driving solutions and also for wind converter. Uh, we provide the power electronics as well. So many of different uh, businesses, uh, everything clean tech. Our large R&D stuff is the um, main reason why we have uh, so sophisticated products. We have um, about 35% of our people um, in R&D. So uh, of the about 3,000 employees, we have over 1,000 are in the development section. 
uh, in the background and blurred background, you can see um, our EMC chamber. Um, this is uh, the largest EMC chamber in the PV industry. And uh, also some competitors and other companies uh, go to Sangro for EMC testing. So this uh, chamber is big enough even for central inverters. And uh, EMC is also very important for us because a few years ago, uh, we had a few EMC issues with uh, one of our inverters. And we tried to learn from that, and that's why we have now this large EMC chamber. Also, we have over um, 1,500 patents uh, regarding renewables only. Again, other companies have maybe bigger numbers regarding the patents, but um, often these are mixed and not uh, renewables only. And this is only clean tech patents we're talking about. So, why Sangro? Um, there's uh, quite a few um, reasons, and uh, one is that we have the most comprehensive portfolio. And today we started 2.5 kilowatt um, for residential inverters. We started about 10 kilowatt for commercial products, and uh, also we have so containerized solutions ranging up to multi megawatt, uh, which also include transformers and switchgear and everything you need to make your business successful. Also, uh, we not only have uh, PV inverters, we also have hybrid inverters and battery inverters of every size. So no matter what your business is, uh, we can provide a solution for whatever you need. As with personal relationships, uh, we say that the inner values count a lot. Um, that's why we only use uh, best components in the industry to build our inverters. As a rough reference, about 70% of our inverters are uh, components from outside of China, and about 30% originate from Germany. Like, for example, in Finian IGBTs, uh, we don't take the best. Uh, the fans we use for the cooling systems um, often come from uh, Japan, NMB, for example. So it's uh, only best uh, tier one components. And the other components as well. The remaining 30% um, is mostly the housing and other um, components that uh, can easily be found in China of the same quality like you would get on the international market. The MC4 connectors are um, uh, the original MC4 from Stäubli, so again, on the quality materials. Uh, you can always rely on us. Um, we have global accounts, uh, so we have a proven track record that our solution work very well and that um, our projects, uh, we can, we can Bring anything to a success. Uh, most bank institutes will also accept um, Sangro as a brand, and we use only uh, the most recognized uh, 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 certification bodies uh, for uh, certification of our products. Also, we have um, a new website um, that is about to be launched on our global uh, website, sangropower.com where you can discover the complete Sangro portfolio. Uh, you can find uh, all documents for download. You can see what's new, and also you can always get support in case you need help with um, setting up your system or with uh, whatever you have in your mind. So let's start with uh, the SG110CX. In Europe, we have many large rooftop projects uh, where uh, large power inverters are required. And with the 110CX, we have the perfect product for this. Um, this, uh, you can see here, is one example project that has been built with Sangro inverters, the big farming business. Uh, but uh, considering what is possible with 110CX, this is only a small project. But uh, this project is interesting because it uses um, our inverters for mainly for self-consumption for the farming inside uh, the building. Um, so high investment safety, high revenue with self-consumption, it's very easily possible in Germany even. The CX series, um, also commercial extreme, starts with uh, the SG33 CX, SG46, SG56 on the one hand, and SG110 CX on the other side. Uh, today, we'll only focus on the 110CX, but as you can see, um, they are very similar looking 
and also regarding your features, they are almost identical. Both feature multiple handling grips, which make it very convenient for the installation. Um, the hard tensor X weighs about 85 kilos. So having good handling grips is for us is an essential part of the inverter. Uh, thanks to, to the unique design of these handling grips you can, and the active cooling, you can also mount the inverter horizontally. So in case you have a rooftop installation with only little space available, you can put modules on top of the inverter and have it flat on the ground. All ports are easily accessible. Um, the MC4 connectors you can see on the bottom of the inverter. And also uh, on the right hand side, you can see the PG clamps where the AC um, cables and uh, or, uh, communication cables can be connected. Um, the inverter features a high environmental resistance with IP66 and a C5 rating. Uh, more on that later. Thanks to our uh, monitoring system, iSolar Cloud. We can provide you with a hassle-free version maintenance, uh, with remote firmware updates, or with string current monitoring, even online ID curve scan is possible as a premium feature. And this also includes a proactive fault analysis. So um, depending on, on your um, needs, ISOLA Cloud provides you with a complete solution and uh, gives you a hint uh, where you may find problems with your previous installation, how to resolve those. So I think that's a huge advantage um, uh, in most, uh, any business. We have a flexible plant design. Um, we offer up to 1,100 uh, volt DC. So either you can have uh, more strings, uh, more, more PV modules per string connected, or you have a little bit of reserve for the few very cold days of each year. Each uh, MPPT has two strings, so there's no fuses included. The fuses design uh, to keep the operation maintenance costs down and the inverter simple. Also, um, this means that um, this inverter has uh, plenty of MPPTs, uh, so complex shading is not really much of an issue. There's nine MPPTs included, and there are 10 CX. It has a wide input voltage range. So um, you are very flexible uh, string configurations um, possible. The DC-AC ratio can be up to 1.5, um, depending on the situation. Uh, so if you have a east-west facing system, for example, even more is possible. If you have everything south, um, the economic factors usually lead to below 1.5, but um, that's mostly up to the project planning team and not to us. Uh, on the right-hand side, on the um, AC connection co uh, compartment, there's also an integrated tracker power supply. So if you have a tracking system in the field, uh, there's no need to provide a dedicated power supply for the tracker. You can just use the inverter to power the tracking system, saving cabling costs and keeping the system simple and neat. Also, we have plenty of other smart features included, like, for example, um, we have anti-PID and PID recovery um, for anti-PID. Uh, this is uh, during daytime. Um, you can shift uh, the star voltage so that um, there's no negative uh, potential between um, the PV modules and ground, um, preventing PID from happening altogether. Or we can use PID recovery uh, where you apply a, uh, a counter voltage to the PV generator to regenerate uh, existing PID damage. So for repowering uh, business, this is also a very interesting product because you can not only exchange one inverter with uh, another one with higher efficiency, but also rejuvenate the PV generator. Depending on the needs, um, there's also a possibility to provide um, reactive power during the night as an added service. Um, the smart active cooling uh, means that we have uh, temperature control fans inside that only run as fast as they need to. And uh, these fans, as mentioned before, are um, from NMB, a Japanese manufacturer. And uh, the manufacturer rates these fans as uh, with a lifetime of 25 years. Uh, we asked uh, the TOE to, um, to give their own um, advice how, how long these uh, fans will uh, last and 
that they uh, tested these stamps and the result was uh, over 36 years. So um, we are very confident that our smart active cooling is the best on the market. As you can see on the picture, then water has no LTV anymore. So commissioning will be done either by data logger or via a smartphone and an APP, um, where we can have uh, the benefits of high resolution screen and plenty of, of text to have a, a smooth commissioning. On the, um, on the bottom of the inverter, there's also a communication port where you can connect Wi-Fi or an Ethernet connector, uh, more on that later. Um, here you can see um, the, the panel on the bottom of the inverter. On the left hand side, um, there's the MP4 connectors and each three MPPTs um, uh, have their own DC switch. Um, this helps to use um, small power DC switches um, we could also use one big DC switch to disconnect everything at once, but then um, for uh, high load, uh, you would need a very expensive DC switch, and using three separate DC switches helps to keep the cost down for you. Also, you can see the AC um, cable gland and the communication cable gland, where you can uh, put the wires into the AC cabling compartment. On the bottom, you can see the fans. Um, which are partially visible, and they push the air through from the bottom to the top, as you can see on, on this illustration. So we have a smart air cooling. Um, the fans themselves are rated um, IP68, completely sealed for highest um, investment security and maximum yield. Um, the electronics compartment is uh, completely encapsulated. So there's no dust entering um, any critical areas. Only the heat sink um, will be uh, will will have the air pushed through. The, we use a aluminum die casting and electrostatic spraying to further enhance the product lifetime. Also, in contrast to some other competitors. Um, we don't uh, hide our temperature curating curves uh, in the user manual. You can find um, the exact uh, same illustration. So we have the maximum output power up to 45 degrees Celsius. And uh, uh, after um, 45 degrees Celsius, curating starts. So we have higher, higher yield in warmer temperatures. And this is ambient temperature, not component temperature. Inside the inverter, it's quite hot. Uh, why, why do we do all this um, uh, effort to keep the inverter cooled? Um, basically, for each 10 degrees Celsius, um, the electronic components um, get warmer, their lifetime gets cut in half. So keep this in mind when you have a project, active cooling is very important. On this slide, we have a short comparison of the complete CX series. Um, as you can see, we have uh, many MPPTs on each inverter, and most of the specs are identical. Um, most notably, um, the differences of um, the AC terminal. Uh, for the small um, CX, uh, we have up to 70 square millimeters, and for the 110 CX, we have 250 square millimeters uh, maximum cross section. I think um, you can read the uh, Data sheet later um, after the training. This is uh, not the most exciting part of the presentation. So maybe let's move forward. As mentioned earlier, we have a complete uh, monitoring solution also in our portfolio, um, consisting of Wi Fi, um, but also Ethernet, and uh, the so called IM4, which is an enhanced Wi Fi adapter, the COM100, and not in picture here. Um, we also have RS485 included. So let's take a brief look at um, these communication adapters. Uh, the inverter itself comes only equipped with um, RS485 as a standard option. And anything else, um, if you need it, you pay for it. If you don't need it, uh, our products are very cheap. Um, for Wi Fi and Ethernet, it's one adapter per device. It's just a plug and play. Um, adapter um, where you remove a small cap at the bottom of the inverter and just plug the adapter in. 
on there's a QR code on each adapter which you can scan and uh, this will start automatic um, device search and setup um, function so it's really just one one QR code to scan and one inverter online in this case when connected to our ISOLA cloud monitoring platform you can access the inverter remotely and uh, check the health status and many more aspects online the IM4 is a very special uh, connector um, you can connect uh, this uh, adapter to one inverter and then use RS485 daisy chain to connect up to nine additional inverters to, to the system. So you need to purchase only one, uh, one uh, communications adapter and um, this will, for at least for Europe, will only feature a Wi-Fi access. Um, and, uh, in China, we also have a 4G version of this adapter available. Um, but since uh, in China they use a different frequency band than in Europe, uh, we cannot use this one in Europe just yet. Um, but as soon as um, interest is there, I think um, it's not much of a difference to use a different uh, frequency chip inside the adapter and have uh, the same functionality also in Europe. The rest of the functions are uh, basically the same as with the Wi-Fi and Ethernet adapter. We have automatic device version setup. There's also a QR code on the adapter. Um, plus, um, there's a complete data logger inside, including a web server. So for this one, you don't need to connect to the internet to be able to monitor up to 10 inverters at once. Also, you can use FTP push to upload your data to any third-party portal. Here you can see the COM100, um, this is our comprehensive data logger for large scale installations. Um, features uh, the same um, as uh, the other adapter before, plus much more functionality. Here you can connect up to 30 inverters and have uh, also active and reactive power control possibilities. Um, when you open up uh, the housing, there's an integrated LED. Um, so you can see uh, where you have to connect the wires, even one at the dark corner. Um, it also has the same uh, web server and FTP push functions, plus additional grid management functions, and we also integrated um, weather station support. So um, the protocol definitions from Luft and Kip and Sonen are already included in this one. To give you a complete view on the system, um, you have either a small or a large power um, CX inverter, and depending on the amount of inverters, you, you can use either of these options to connect to our, our monitoring platform, iSolar Cloud. For Ethernet and Wi Fi, one adapter each. For the IM4, one adapter for up to 10 inverters. For the COM100, up to 30 inverters connected. So to sum it up, um, commercial extreme, um, that's, that's uh, why you call it CX. Um, we have extreme revenue, extremely fast setup, extreme product lifetime, and a feature-rich online monitoring system. Next, I'd like to show you a few reference projects that I selected for today. So um, first, let's start with this one. I think this is an interesting one because it's a nice story to tell. Um, it's a small project, only uh, one megawatt DC, um, but um, the site makes it interesting. Um, this project uh, is Chernobyl. So um, we built this with um, our partner um, Enerpark, um, and uh, it was completed about a year ago and provides clean energy for about 2,000 households. So again, uh, it's interesting to have a site that has previously hosted nuclear power and now provide clean power. Um, the next uh, project I'd like to show you um, went through the German media in a big way. Um, all the big TV stations um, gave us a call and wanted to know more about this. Um, uh, There's also a nice story to tell about this one. 
um, because um, this was a former coal mine. Um, so you have a huge um, coal mine and uh, what to do with the land once the mine is closed. I think that's an interesting question that um, many countries um, should have. Uh, in China, one of these coal mines was flooded with water. And by this time, it was the largest floating um, solar project in the world once it was commissioned. And Bangro provides not only the inverters, but also the floating panels for these projects. So there's the large floating panels where the central inverters are placed and the smaller ones where the PV modules are put on. So everything um, you can see here um, is a big um, 40 megawatt floating solution developed by SunGrow. And the last project I want to show you is um, also a nice one because in, in Europe uh, mostly we have spring inverters, but um, I think the time is right um, to also have central inverters uh, um, installed in Europe. Uh, this one was built in the Netherlands. It's a small project, only 10 megawatt, and provides clean energy for about 3,500 households. You can also use our string inverters to have the same project size, um, but I think central inverters offer some benefits. And it's nice to see that some uh, of our customers think the same and use central inverters even at small power projects. And last um, reference I'd like to show you. Uh, no, no, this is not my my uh, home. Um, <laughs> this is in Australia, and uh, this is interesting because um, we are about to launch uh, residential inverters in Europe and in Australia. We already started about four years ago and sold over 60,000 units already. Um, when we started, we were the third biggest player in the market. Uh, number one and two were SMA and Fronius. Um, now things have changed a little bit. We moved up one slot. Now Sangro is number two, and number one, I think, is Solar Edge. So everything changes. And I think as long as it's uh, renewable, change is always good. And with our 10% market share, uh, we proved that even for residential business, we have the right project, uh, a regular right product. And for uh, our market launch in Europe, we uh, improved on the hardware and also on the software a lot. So I think that's um, something that you will see um, also on the CX inverters because they use some of the same uh, APPs, for example. So you benefit from our market introduction of small inverters, also with big inverter business. So I think that's it for today. Um, any questions, um, please feel free to enter them into the chat.